All right, beautiful people, today we're gonna to talk about dot plots and we're gonna talk about dot plots in seventh grade, which is a little different than sixth grade because in seventh grade, they're gonna give you two dot plots and they're gonna ask you to compare them. So they're gonna ask you questions comparing the first dot plot to the second dot plot. And they're gonna use vocabulary like mean, median, mode, and range. And so we need to refresh our memories on what do mean, median, mode, and range mean. So let's go through and define those. So the first one I'm gonna to talk about is mean. So um, the mean is how we find your grade in school, your report card grade. And that just means that we take all your individual grades and we add them together. And after we add them together, we divide by how many grades you have. So if you have five grades, we add your five grades together and then we divide by five. If you have 10 grades, we add your 10 grades together and we divide by 10. So we add all the numbers or all the grades, and then we divide by how many numbers that we have in our set, okay? All right, median. Median, we know, is our favorite, and that is our middle. Oops, I spelled it wrong. Hold on. Middle. I started to write median. And we know that just means we put the numbers from least to greatest, and after we put them least to greatest, we find the middle. Sometimes there'll be two numbers in the middle. And if there are two numbers in the middle, we are just gonna add them and divide by two, okay? All right, the next one that we're gonna talk about is the mode. And I like to say the mode, the mode, the mode's the most. And basically all that means is the mode is the one that repeats most. So the one that you see over and over and over and over and over again. So it's the number that shows up the most. And it is possible to have more than one mode. And the example there would be like if I had um, one, two, two, three, three, seven, then my mode would be the two and the three because they repeat the same amount of times. Okay, and if no number is repeated, then you would have no mode. So that's also something to remember. If no numbers repeat, then you would have no mode. Okay, all right. And then the last one that we're gonna talk about is range. And remember range is your big number subtracting your small number, your maximum take away your minimum. Okay, so it says subtract the lowest number from the highest number, all right? So now that we've refreshed our memories on our four vocabulary, let's go down and apply that knowledge to this question. All right, so it says, the dot plot shows the grades of two different students in Miss Height's math class. So this is student number one, this is student number two. So you can see they've got grades all over, each dot represents a grade, right? And so what we're gonna do is we are going to use our strategies from sixth grade. And the first one that we learned is that we learned to write the numbers. So before I write my numbers, I gotta figure out what, what are these numbers, right? So I'm assuming this is zero, right? And if this is zero down here, then we have to figure out what are they counting by. So if we're doing zero to 50, right? So if we're assuming this is zero, so what is in the middle of zero and 100? Well, that would be 50. So we know our middle mark's 50. And then we know this next mark would be 75. And then we know this one over here would be 25, okay? And then we need to go define our, our list of numbers. So what are they counting by? We gotta figure out what they're counting by. So that's five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So they're counting by fives. So I'm just gonna make myself a note. They're counting by fives. And that's important because now I can write my list of numbers. So I'm gonna do my first data set in purple. So let's see, our first grade would be a five. And then we made two tens, right? These are tens. And then we made 125 and 130. And then we have 30, 35, so we have a 40 and a 45. Okay, we have 50, 55, 60. Then we have three 70s, and we're actually gonna label that tall column 
as mode because immediately when I see this tall column, I know that my mode is that number, which is going to be 70. Okay, so three 70s, and then I have a eight two 80s. And nothing above those. Okay, so again, when you see a dot plot, you're going to not only write out the list of numbers, you've got to figure out what's the dot plot counting by, but then you're going to write out the list of numbers based on the dots. So you're only looking at the, the numbers that have dots above them. And the tallest column, we're going to circle and label mode. Okay? All right, in our second data set here, I'm going to use green this time. All right, we start, we got five, so we have a 10 and a 15. So I'm going to start writing my data down here. We have 10, 15. We have two 25s, because there's two dots on the 25. We have a 30. And then we have 35, we have a 40, we have 150, 160, and then we have, let's see, if this is 60, 65, 70, 70, 70, 70. So we have three 70s. No 75s, no 80s, but we have an 85 and a 90, okay? And then, again, I'm going to circle the tallest column, which is this one, label it as my mode, and I'm going to say, oh, those are 70s, okay? And then I'm just going to count how many numbers are in each data set. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 grades up on top. So we have 13 grades for the first student, and we're just going to check how many grades we have for the second student. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 grades for my second student as well. Okay, and then you just want to make sure that matches the dots. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Perfect. So we wrote down all our numbers. Now I can start answering my questions. The reason that I did all of this work up here is to make answering these questions much easier because I'll have a good reference point. All right. So it says complete each statement with greater than, less than, or equal to. So it said the mode of the data for student one. So we know the mode of the data for student one was 70. Remember, that's our tallest column, which is right here. We labeled it. We circled it already. And the mode of the data for student two, well, that's also 70. So if both of them are 70, what word would I use? Well, I would use equal to because 70 equals 70. Okay. All right. Then we say the median. So median is middle. So we need to go find our middle. So we know what to do. We're going to cross off each side. So one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. So 45 is my median. So I'm going to circle that median. So median for student two, so that's not the one we just did. So student one is 45. So we need to come find the median for student two. So same process. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. So on this one, 50 is my median. And again, so I just put it down there. So the median for student for student one was or student two is 50, and the median for student two one is 45. So 50 is what? Is it greater than, less than, or equal to 45? Well, it would be greater than. 50 is greater than 45. All right, the next one talks about range, and we know range is biggest minus smallest. So I'm going to define that big minus small, okay? So I'm going to take my big number 80 and my small number 5. I'm going to say this range was 75. Down here, I'm going to take my big number 90 and my small number 10, subtract, and I get 80 is my range. So it says the range for student 1, right, student 1, which is this one up here, 
that one's going to be 75. And the range for student 2, we said, was 80. So is 75 equal to, greater than, or less than? It's not equal to, 75 is less than. So I'd come fill that in, 75 is less than. And you'll notice the vocabulary that we're looking at is describing the first number in comparison to the second. So 75 is the less, 850 is the greater, and they're equal to the same, okay? So when you pick this word, just make sure it's describing the thing in front of it, all right? The next one, says the lowest grade. Well, we know what is the lowest grade. Well, that just means the minimum or the, the smallest, right, for student one. So the smallest grade for student one was five. And the lowest grade for student two was 10. So if we're describing this one, five is less than. All right, and then we know that last one, the maximum. So maximum or highest grade is the maximum. So for this one, it's 80. For this one, it's 90. So for student two, notice you really have to be careful because like sometimes they say student one first and sometimes they say student two first. So you really have to look and see which one are they talking about because we know student two is on the bottom and student one is on the top, okay? So for student two, the maximum was 90. And for student one, the maximum was 80. So again, we're describing the first number, so 90 is greater than. Okay? And so that's how we use our vocabulary and our comparisons for dot plots. Big things to remember. You need to remember your vocabulary Mean is how we find your grades. Median is the middle. Mode is the one that repeats the most. And on a dot plot, it is the tallest tower, which we circle and label. And range is big minus small. All right? And again, the word here describes the number in front. All right? Go practice dot plots, guys.